what up guru jojo here to provide a motivational tarot forecast for the full moon which will be in the zodiac sign of leo at 20 degrees on february the 9th so this is the forecast for the earth signs the earth signs are taurus virgo and capricorn for taurus right oh before i even dive into that just to mention, I will no longer be doing motivational tarot forecasts on a weekly basis. I'm now only going to be doing them during the moon cycles, like the significant moon cycles, such as the full moon and a new moon. So most likely this would mean I'll be doing the forecast twice a month. Yeah, twice a month. Yeah, twice a month. So I think... If I'm wrong, my bad. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's twice a month. Usually these things happen like every 15 days or so. So that's how I'm going to be doing this, all right? So with that being said, Taurus, right? Taurus, the full moon in Leo will be affecting your fourth house, I believe. Taurus, Gemini. Um, cancer. Yeah, I had to like do it in my head. So, boom. This means that you'll be more concerned on home enter. Ooh, I don't know what the heck just happened. This means you'll be more concerned in home entertainment. Maybe you want like a home theater. Or you need to maybe like invest in a home theater or something like that or maybe you're trying to redecorate the home like you want the home to be more enter entertaining maybe more kids are going to be over or something like that you could be throwing parties within the home birthday parties maybe you have a lot of people um in the month of aquarius you know what i'm saying like you could have kids in the month of aquarius type of thing and so you'll be celebrating their birthdays around this time um in addition to this you could be having just home gatherings, something within the home is being entertained. You could even be like showing people pictures of your home. Maybe you moved into a new home or something like that, or you got some new decorations or something new within the home. Home-like stuff, stuff that has to do with comfortability and care, nurturance. So you could be maybe trying to cook something like a home cooked meal and you could be like showing it on social media or something like that um you could also be more concerned about your home business at this time as well um you could be trying to get a studio in the home all right if you are into some sort of art or creativity maybe you're trying to restructure the studio within your home i'll show the cards after because i didn't know that was going to fall out so quickly so that's what I'm seeing pretty much for Taurus, just more focusing on entertainment, comfortability and nurturance within the home specifically, or at least within your own body. So you could be even entertaining your own body a little bit more. Um, so you could be maybe taking up a fitness routine or you could just be going out and having fun a little bit more, whether it be going to the movie theaters. Um, you could be having more celebrations and birthday parties within the home, as I was saying. You could also be gaining maybe some recognition maybe at work if you have like a business you could be getting more attention at your business right now at this time um something about your business could be brought to your attention and then for virgos you're gonna be having the moon transiting your 12th house so this is gonna bring to light like things related to secret admirers hidden enemies possibly people that entertain you behind the scenes um as well as people maybe trying to find out like what you do in private or something like that or maybe they're trying to like play around with your imagination and see like the way that you're perceiving things maybe you could be more entertained by psychology or things involving spirituality right now at this time You could be meditating you could be more in private like you may not be entertaining things as much if you are it looks like you're going to be working on things related to the arts or religion or both so it just depends um just making sure the cards are in order here because you know me i don't like the reversals 
All right, but we're good here. So that's pretty much for Virgo. Like you could just be getting some recognition um, at this time, but the recognition, it's probably just gonna be more behind the scenes rather than up front, um, which that's really no different for Virgo. So maybe it's like coming out from behind the scenes, like people are a little bit more attentive or giving you recognition for something that you entertain. So new recognition or people that entertain you behind the scenes is going to be more open and people may be looking for the signs that you entertain them to or something like that. Now for Capricorns, this is going to be affecting your eighth house. So the full moon energy is going to be transiting your eighth house. So you could be concerned more so and entertaining more so occult like situations right now. You could be more concerned about metaphysics um deeply shared values you could be concerned about making sure that you are entertaining the things that you value like because you may start to notice that other people value it behind the scenes too so it's like one of those things where a small example is like let's say that you really like a particular brand of ice cream okay and you notice a lot of people in your environment and your friends they like this same brand of ice cream now the circular comes out saying that ice cream's on sale. You know you kind of have to entertain that ASAP because it may be gone. Like behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? Your friends really took like five of the ice creams that were available in the flavor that you like too. See, this is like a shared value type of thing. And um, because they got a big family, so they need like a bunch for the future. And you just wanted one little thing of ice cream and you didn't even get any like in the past you didn't get any it's like bring, being brought to your attention you're remembering those things you're remembering when you wanted something that other people wanted but they weren't direct about it it was like behind the scenes and they didn't tell you all the information and then you ended up missing out or losing out on a situation these type of emotions and feelings could be coming up for you again occult matters you're looking at the meaning and reasoning behind why people entertain certain things the real meaning and reasoning behind why somebody gets recognition um for a situation like you want to understand why they're being recognized for stuff you want to see what it really is you're realizing the deeply shared values between things that seem to be connected for oh that's it all right so boom let me show you the first cards that was received here we got the lovers card as the main theme focal point card number six this is connected to archangel Raphael. intimate relationships carefully weigh your decisions good health so right now this time a lot of earth signs could be focused on business partnerships as well as any sort of romantic relationships that you could be interested in whether it be new um, or maybe you need to narrow down your decisions um, also the wheel of fortune here you also could be just balancing out the more assertive principle with your more vulnerable principle within you like having the ability to connect with both forces of life like the divine masculine and feminine so being more aggressive and assertive versus being more vulnerable holding back and then being more strategic and planning or being more in tuned and going with the flow maybe regarding situations um connecting more so to your freedom of expression as it relates to you know the masculine and feminine the masculine and feminine roles in society with the wheel of fortune card here there's something that is in your favor there's some sort of luck blessings benefits coming into your life at this time um, because because you already kind of made plans with a particular person or you already have balanced this out this energy of the masculine and feminine within yourself so you're very in tune with both of these vibrations to the point that you feel like a complete being and this helps you to manifest a lot of blessings in your life this goes for all of the earth signs taurus virgo and capricorn um especially taurus is what i'm seeing three of cups for taurus it looks like a lot of taurus could be partying a lot celebrations because they received something great like they might have gotten a promotion in advance of money or like yeah like an advancement of money or something like that or there's something they were invited to and they're having fun and they're partying having gatherings right now um 
and they could also be doing this with a particular partnership so if you're married you could be having a party with your business with your uh, marriage partner or you're trying to renew your vow your vows is that how you say it your vows there we go i'm bugging out right now it's late i'm tired so i do apologize it's a two of wands here this is for the virgos virgo sun moon or rising two of wands means that you have opportunities and you can go in either direction but you're kind of having trouble as to which direction you want to go in um regardless there's an opportunity here for you because the will of fortune applies to all three of the earth signs but it's just that um for virgos in particular you're stuck as to which direction you want to go in um i'm also seeing that you could be working with somebody like you have somebody that is directly working with you like you guys are dominating something um and this is why it's becoming beneficial like it's a beneficial situation like you're coming into some sort of partnership that has a lot of passion and you guys can like back each other up and support each other like support one another um I'm also seeing some Virgos are waiting for a partnership, are waiting for a connection. Yes, yeah, Seven of Pentacles also for Virgos. You're wait, like I said, you're waiting for an opportunity with someone. Like you're also waiting to receive benefits from something you worked really hard in and you've been waiting for it to grow and it's taking forever is what I'm seeing. There's someone who's gonna most likely come into a lot of Virgos life and this is most likely going to be a love interest and they're going to really help out a lot of Virgos. This is how they're going to end up manifesting is what I'm seeing. All right, Capricorns, let's see. Capricorns first card here is the Knight of Cups. A lot of Capricorns are interested in a partner. They could be mysterious, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, this is like a dream partner for you pretty much. Um, the justice card something's unfair or something is very fair so you feel like this person really balances out your life or this person is burdened by a court situation i don't see any burdens really in this reading in particular except for virgos where they've been patiently waiting for a situation um some capricorns may be literally handing out an offer of love extending out an offer of love because you feel like it's justified like it's almost like you're trying to bring fairness into somebody else's life like you may see that something's unfair and you want to balance out that fairness so i'm going to clarify capricorn first all right here's the clarifier three of pentacles there could be some unfairness in work, in your work life, collaborations, things are not being, things are not fair in the endeavors, in the way that the work is being distributed. At the same time, what I'm seeing is that you're dealing with a situation where you could be collaborating with people and there's also a love interest involved and the other person may also like that same person. So now there's a need to make a decision and like come clean about how you feel so that you could possibly be with this person. Others could be going through a court situation in business partnerships and work collaborations as well. Um, you could also just be working together with another partner. Like you want to do some work with a particular person. The temperance card for Virgos. Again, you've been patient, you've been waiting, but you're trying to balance out spirituality with practicality right now at this time. And again, there's someone coming into your life that's going to help you. That's the only thing I really see for Virgos. Like Virgos have done all the work. They've been patiently waiting for things to manifest. The problem is that they need a partner or something like that. A lot of Virgos just like, they're trying to do everything by themselves. And it's like, it's, it's like you already done what you can by yourself. Now it requires a connection. If it's not that, then what I'm seeing is that 
you're moving into a completely new direction. Like you could be, you could have been heading in one direction. It's you finally came to the conclusion it's not working out. And then there's like some other really good opportunity for you on a different end. And you decide to just go in that direction. And um, the thing is that if this is a love interest, make sure that you nurture these relationship partners partnerships properly and that you don't just swing from one partner to the other like you put in a lot of energy into something you start new and then you just stop taking care of it and then you just jump onto something else and you have like a bunch of like un underdeveloped projects is what i'm seeing now for taurus what i'm seeing is again some sort of blessings and luck come into your life um, in addition to this, you got the Ten of Pentacles. This could be regarding your public status, reputation, but as it relates to your own self-development and like your own self-employment. So if you're a self-employed person, this is a great time for you. It looks like you could be starting an event, having a party and a gathering or an event for your self-employment at this time. You could have started a brand or you could have started a... Um, a company, a LLC, I think is how they say it. You're self-employed in something is what I'm seeing, Taurus. Um, you have a lot of structure in your life. And now you're ready to collab with others, but not necessarily collab. It looks like there's a celebration for what you've done um, is what I'm seeing. Yep, that's what I'm seeing for the earth signs. I hope this forecast was helpful. Thank you for watching. Peace out.